When should we be using engagement letters? When should we be using proposals? When should we be using non-disclosure agreements? So with engagement letters, I think you should try to get a verbal commitment and payment before actually sending them the engagement letter. And the reason for that is because so many people, they like literally part of their process, they make, they send it to the client, right? So after they do a consultation, they don't even do a strategy session. They're just like, all right, and I'll send you the agreement. They send it off in, in email and then chirp, you know, crickets at that point. Literally, there's no more communication. And, you know, it's kind of difficult to get in touch with some of these people. Like, so I think just randomly sending your agreement or your engagement letter over after the strategy session, that is a death nail in the coffin. You definitely don't want to do that. You never want to give someone an engagement letter without a meeting booked on the calendar to walk through it together. You know, and really, frankly, you don't even want to give them the engagement letter unless they ask for it before they make a decision to work with you and before they pay. We never want to really prepare a proposal. It's not something that I want you guys to do. However, certain types of clients or very large clients, like engagements that are 10 to 50,000, and so if you do decide to do a proposal, you know, do not randomly email it to the client, like have a meeting on the calendar and send it three minutes before the call. So you can walk through it together on the call. And then at the end, make a decision. If you want to work together, they can submit payment and move forward. You never want to just send a proposal without a meeting booked for you to walk through it with them. Non-disclosure agreements. So these are, you know, they're included in our engagement letters, but sometimes the clients will ask for this, like during the actual consultation phases. But if one of your clients says, oh, I can't talk any further unless I get a non-disclosure agreement, you want to have one on hand. I mean, this happens maybe five or 10% of the time, but I would only kind of use this if they bring it up and they want it. I would not have it as part of your process. So really, you know, when you look at these different things, we don't want any of these as part of our process. If the client asks for an engagement letter, okay, fine, we've got it on hand. If the client asks for a proposal, okay, we've got it on hand. If the client asks for an NDA, we've got it on hand, but I don't want to be using these. I do think that after the client signs up, you should get them to sign an engagement letter after they paid, after we've gotten started, but I don't want to have this as something that is required